started today on day one of um, the Supreme of the program. And so I'm just right now doing a lot of overview with um, the logic games, um, things like that. So I, um, I just wanted to, to ask like a couple questions. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, and I put them down. So I did end up figuring about the numbering for the practice test. Um, with the weekly schedule, um, I got a subscription through Law Hub Great. Um, for those tests. And then, um, so one question that I had was, since I'm um, retaking the test, like I've already taken it, um, sh is it okay like right now to start off? Because I know tonight there's like a mastermind coach group um, that's going on, like a group coaching session going on. Um, am I okay to join those since I Absolutely. just started? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Please join. Even if you're not ready to dive in head first yet, you can still learn a lot from being in the group and watching others present and other, watching others get coached. And then that'll gear you up so that maybe in the future, if you do want to take a more active role, you certainly can and you'll feel more comfortable doing so. Okay, awesome. That really helps me out because I just, I feel like I don't want to miss any opportunity of like stuff that's being offered. You know what yeah. I mean? So. Yeah, no, join everything. Join everything. You have full access. Okay, cool. And then also, I was just wondering if you have any advice, like, to how to, like, help pace myself out, because I, you know, I took the LSAT, and I did not get a score that I wanted, so I'm going to retake it, and now that I'm going into retaking it, I've recently just graduated from college, so I don't, you know, I don't have any college classes that I'm taking, and I'm also, I'm able to work part-time, so I'm working about three to four days a week, um, and any time that I feel like now that I'm not doing like work, I like, I feel like I need to be fully dedicated 24 seven doing this because, you know, I'm scared of course to go back in again and like not get the score that I'm hoping for. So, you know, like that's, is that's unreasonable, you know, to like study every day or like how many hours a day should I on the days that I have completely off? Great question. So yeah, you do want to pace yourself. You don't want to burn out. So you don't need to study every single moment that you're not working because you've got work, you've got studying, you've got personal things. You also just want to relax. And so right. you don't need to spend every waking hour doing something productive. It's okay to slow down and take some me time. On the days that you do have work and you do have other applications, maybe you want to just do a couple hours of LSAT. On the weekend, if you have more time for the LSAT, maybe you want to do four or five hours. But I wouldn't want you to run the risk of burnout. This really is a marathon, not a sprint. So pace yourself. Pace yourself just means slow down. The schedule is more important for the level of specificity it contains about what to do than the exact day-by-day -day breakdown. And I also build an off days there for a reason. So okay. follow it as you're able, but don't worry too much about falling behind. You can always catch up later. Okay. Perfect. That, that definitely puts me at ease because all day today, like I, I feel like you know, like some of this stuff, since I am retaking it, like, I'm like, okay, like, you know, I know this, maybe I, I don't need to look at this part or I feel, I feel okay. So I'm like searching, you know, for like, oh, try, try to do this, try to do this. And I'm like, okay, maybe I do just need to take a break. Cause I've done, you know, what's there for today. So awesome. That definitely makes me um, feel better. And then, so like, as far as the course goes, like um, I should just follow, you know, this schedule like pretty much as is, unless I feel like there's anything that I need to touch, you know, like I need to go back on, or I feel like that I can skip over. Um, I just, because, you know, I'm coming from, I did a prep course where like everything was just like, you know, bam, bam, bam. Like you log on for three hours for a class, you, you know, do practice stuff. And this is more just like pay, like your own pace, I guess. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, my course okay. includes the live online classes like the mastermind group coaching, also plenty of other live online classes, master classes, Q and A's, workshops and such. So those are live events you can join multiple times a week, but I also have plenty of on-demand videos covering the basics as well as the recordings of all previous classes. So you can go at your own pace. I give you that general schedule as a framework to help orient you around your target test date. But again, it's more important for the level of specificity than the exact day-by-day -day breakdown. So you can work through everything on demand, but like I said, pace yourself one day at a time. Okay, perfect. 
I just, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I definitely want to take full advantage of this, but okay. Awesome. Yeah. Those were just the, the few questions that I, that I had, but I feel, you know, once I get more into it, I haven't like hit any road bumps with like any problems, you know, yet or anything. Cause I haven't really started any, but I feel like that will come. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it strikes me that you're very diligent and you're wanting to give this your all and you've got plenty of time to master this. So just keep at it. Show up to the classes, the group coaching mastermind, follow the on-demand video lessons, follow the schedule. But if you, if you have any questions at all, please reach out. I'm happy to help. Awesome. Thank you. I definitely do appreciate you like reaching out, checking in and like me emailing you at 10 o'clock at night and like you email, you know, right back because I'm like, ah, frantic, what the heck's going on? But I, I definitely appreciate that, that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, contact. So thank you. Of course, my pleasure. And I'll, I'll see you in class soon. Okay. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.